And if I got you, I know I don't worry about a thing. Finally, we have proxies. Proxies are intimidating to most people, but actually they're quite easy to use. Proxies simply create a separate lower resolution of your video clips. These lower resolution files allow you to edit with a smoother playback. Then when you're finished, you can simply export the same edited movie back out as your high resolution one. So we have three clips here that we're gonna create some proxies on. So first of all, we have the guy chopping the hedge. Then we have a woman running and then uh, some video of a horse here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go over to the project window. Let's select uh, clips just by holding down the shift key. Now right click and go to proxy and say create proxies. This will come up as a menu. I suggest you click on QuickTime and this options here are different uh, presets. So we're going to do ProRes, low resolution proxy, and also check on add watermark and we'll see why in a little bit later. And then select next to original media in proxy folder. Say OK. This is going to open up the Adobe Media Encoder where it's going to take each one of these three clips and then encode them into another proxy file. So it's going to take each one in turn as we see here and here and then go and encode them into proxies. Okay, when that's done and there's no errors, we can just close this. So where did our files go? So if we go, this is the original files, and then it creates a folder based on our selection where the proxy files are for the three clips, and they have the word proxy in them. Now, one thing to note here, don't be freaked out if you see that they are, we all expect proxies to be much smaller file sizes. So we have horse running here is 58 meg. If we go in here, we have horse running. This is 21 meg. If we go back, we have woman running is 127 meg. And the proxy is 82. And the last one we have is guy chopping hedge. That's 75 megabytes. And go to proxies, guy chopping hedge is 103 megabytes. So it's a little bit bigger, but as I said, don't get you know worried about that. It's a little bit bigger depending on how much compression these uh, original videos are. The purpose of the proxy is to make this preview run a lot smoother. And then when you're finally done with all that and you're editing, you can basically go back up here and actually just, if you don't wanna save them somewhere offline, you can actually just delete these and then your proxies are gone. So it doesn't matter how big they are or how small. And the reason why some of them are big, like I said, if it's an H.264 file or some other formatting, it's already got a lot of compression in the video. They might be a little bit bigger or smaller, but the purpose, especially during ProRes, that, that format that we chose, it does very well in editing along our timeline. So you'll be able to skim along here very easily. They shouldn't be choppy. Now, you also notice down here that it's got a gray little box now next to these and it says proxy status off. So now how do we turn these proxies on between the originals, which is this? It tells us that it's got a proxy attached to it somehow, but how do we switch between it? Well, we're gonna do that up in this menu here and we're looking for, press the plus button, we're looking for this guy, which has proxy toggles. So drag that down here and say, okay. And now if I click this on, this turns blue and it says proxy status on. So now these files here, the ones that we created a proxy for, and you see here, there's a watermark here too. And that's why we chose it. I can tell straight away now when we're editing this, I'm working with the proxy files. If I turn that off, the watermark goes away, and now I'm working with the original files. So that's the way that we can create proxies and toggle them on and off. And that nice little watermark allows you to see, and oh, I realize I'm on my proxy file. It's a great visual. So the other thing that'll happen here 
is a couple of things. If you're color grading some of this, I would suggest turning the, the proxy off. Do your color grading on here, just because that's where you want it to be on the original file. And then you can still switch over to your proxy when editing. One thing that you might do is let's say you happen to delete a file or move it. So I'm going to take woman running, for example, I'm going to just do that, get rid of it. And I'm going to paste it in here. So the path has moved. So now when I go back to here, we see now that the woman running video, it's now red and it says proxy status offline. So that we know now that even if we toggle things on and off, it can't find that file anymore. So let's say we'd have to go find that and locate it. So we could put that back. So let's do that. Let's drag that back into the proxies folder. So now it's back where we want it. And now let's go back here, but it's still saying red. Okay, so what we have to do is go over to the file in the project window. This is woman running, right click. We can go to proxy and we can do attach proxy. And now it looks for the proxy that it's looking for. We'll do attach. And then this is the path where it is. It's in this proxy folder next to our footage. So you'd find that path and then you could just say, okay. And now we're back to normal, just like so. So we can switch it on again and now it's attached our proxies. And the other question that gets asked is, what happens at the end? This, should this be on or off when I'm exporting my finished movie? And actually it doesn't really matter. You know, you can tell that this is a proxy file. You could switch it off and they all go off that are proxies. But it doesn't matter when you do export. Uh, Premiere is clever enough to know that it's not going to render out the proxy version. It's going to render out the full version, 4K or whatever you have. And now um, another thing is what you could do with your file management is at the end of the time, if you have enough, you're offloading this project, you could keep your proxies or you could just delete the whole thing. If I happen to now delete all of this, this folder. Okay, now I go back over here. It doesn't know where anything is. And now what I could do is click on this, go to proxy and say detach proxies. And then I have to do that for each one of the files that we have proxies on. So if I go proxy, detach. So however you want to use proxies, you can, but they're great for fixing choppy playback. All right, hope you enjoyed that. And there's a lot more to proxies, but that's for another lesson at another time. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Delete all of this, this folder. Okay, now I go back over here. It doesn't know where anything is. And now what I could do is click on this, go to proxy and say detach proxies. And then I have to do that for each one of the files that we have proxies on. So if I go proxy, detach. So however you want to use proxies, you can, but they're great for fixing choppy playback. All right, hope you enjoyed that. And there's a lot more to proxies, but that's for another lesson at another time. All right, I'll see you in the next video. And if I got you, I'm on top, I'm not sure